Hello and welcome to uh, another edition of Living Simply and Fun. And uh, today in our cigar review, I'm going to be reviewing the Five Vegas Gold Maduro. This is a torpedo box press, a 6x54. Box press is uh, fairly sharp, crisp edges. Uh, it's missing some tobacco up here off the wrapper. Not a big deal. It was blended by Nestor Placencia. Uh, another offering from him. Uh, it's a Pennsylvania broadleaf uh, Maduro wrapper with long fillers of Honduran and Nicaraguan uh, origin. Um, and with that, sniff test. Ooh, more damage. I don't like seeing that. Yeah, mildly chocolatey. Not a lot of scent coming from it. I uh, did the sniff test to everyone, and uh, the sniff test was uh, chocolatey. And so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. Last time I had one of these, I loved it. Did, but... did you ever find my true torch? Um. Not yet. I haven't looked. Ah, I will check my food. Kind of a chocolatey raisin off the beginning of this. Some sweetness. Maybe a little bit of white pepper and some honey. Very, very tasty to this point. Um, little drying though, so I'm glad I have something to drink. Um, so we found out for some of you out there, including our own uh, good friend Johnny Sticks, that uh, as soon as the stitching uh, dissolves, I will be going back to cigar reviews. Yeah, then you'll feel healed up enough. Exactly. So and at least you won't be busting stitches or anything because it didn't heal right. Or exactly. So I'm glad you guys are waiting patiently. I do want to get back into the saddle of things. That's why you're moving into the videos already. It's like you want back. <laughs> yes, I do. I'm also looking for the lighter. lighter. I know what you're doing. One track, uh, Rita. One, uh, she's got a nickname, Trixie, and so sometimes I call her One Track Trixie because she gets in <laughs> mind to do something and it won't turn off. Anyways, flavors are maintaining uh, medium body to this point. Uh, rather, rather sweet, but not terribly sweet. Mostly uh, honey, cocoa, and uh, some creamy, buttery notes. A um, little bit of white pepper. Very nice blending so far. And uh, I'll get back to you at the halfway point. So, see you shortly. Hello, and welcome back to the halfway point of this uh, uh, Cinco Vega uh, uh, Gold Maduro. Wow, I'm out of it. Anyways, I'm getting still some kind of uh, honey, raisin, nut, cocoa blended very nicely, some light white pepper. It's uh, kind of creamy and buttery. Overall, nice flavor to this point. I, I've had very few burn issues. I, I did kind of ignore it for a second and kind of got a bit of a run going or yeah, tunnel going, but it's it seems fine. So uh, no problems there. I was thinking maybe I should buy a uh, sampler, the one he's sampling, and then sample all singly just so I could give you my opinion on him. Because well, what is what is living simply and fun but cigar uh, reviews? Yes, yeah, so might as well. Uh, it doesn't matter if we have two, as long as they're different. Exactly, and here, exactly. one would be your opinion, so you just have to get yourself a backyard boogie. And trust me, it won't be ha uh, sad about the PDRs. <laughs> yeah, I will. I because have, every yeah, because I'm going to confiscate them. <laughs> exactly, I was going to say that. You and your... Let's just confiscate but You can this. have the icon, though. <laughs> And you can have the obsidian. I'm going to take the capas. <laughs> then what do I review? Everything else. <laughs> what, you're just going to re-review them? No. <laughs> Enjoy them. 
Aha, very funny, Aaron. So anyways, at this point, I'm st uh, really enjoying this cigar. It reminds me of the ones that I had in the past that made me want to buy a box in the first place. It was the gold Maduro that I really liked over the gold. The gold wasn't bad, but the gold Maduro was great. So There was a uh, Vegas 5 sampler that's been out for years that keeps get, getting catching my eye. I might have to look on the uh, double site seabed. You mean Cinco Vega. <laughs> Vegas, like, Vegas 5, 5. 5 Vegas or whatever it is. Anyways, they have one that's all 60 ring gauge. I was like, ooh, well, 6 the, by 60. The one I really want to try is the AAA because it's an A.J. Fernandez, and I've actually always enjoyed A.J. Fernandez cigars. Uh, the other one I really want to try is uh, the Miami. Um, and uh, it's not here. Don't know where it is. Probably tell me, A.J., to go to the... Yep, uh, see? Yeah, okay. So... Anyways, um, very flavorful to this point. Uh, married very nicely in flavors. A few little burn issues, but nothing major. Uh, I suppose these could be hit and miss. These are torpedoes. Uh, I, I think I'd prefer to get robust, uh, not robustos, but toros at least. Um, but very pleasant cigar so far. Uh, I'll see you in the final third of this. Oh, you got more to say. Yes, when he was just saying, talking about cigars, as I've said in many previous videos, cigars are hit and miss. So when you can get a stick, it might be great, but then you might buy a box of it saying you love them. You might have four or five that are not accurate as the 15 you smoked. So again, cigars are hit and miss. Yeah, well, this one's got some minor wonky issues, and that means that one of them could have horrible wonky issues. But this one's pretty decent. So, I can't complain there. I wouldn't complain either. Anyways, see you in the final third. Uh, now I lost crack of the mouse. There we go. Hello, and welcome back to the final third of the Cinco Vega Gold Maduro. See, I can do it if I want to. So. At Amazing. This, you can do it. At this point, the only complaint I have about this is the wonky burns. The flavors are really decent. And uh, there's like mild nut and raisin with some honey and cocoa and uh, a few leathery notes, a little bit of white pepper returning in the final third. Uh, overall, uh, A plus in flavor, that's for sure. Uh, not too uh, strong of a cigar, fairly mild, mild to medium body. But all the flavors there, it's a cigar that I really enjoy because of that. Uh, only problem I have is that the, it, it just keeps going wonky, and there's no good reason for that. Um, so, uh, what, I don't know what else to say. Do you have anything to say before I end this? Yes, I was just looking at a catalog the other day, and uh, me and Aaron were talking, I believe it was Cigar International that had those uh, the gold, Vegas Golds on sale, but they were little... Uh, they were box press jobbies, and they looked really, really tasty. And oh, the new my ones, eye. the the uh, uh, Cinco Vegas uh, Gold Box uh, Gold Bar. Gold Bar, right? Yeah, they're like shaped like a gold bar. They're completely so, box they're, pressed. It almost seems no, it's not a box press. It's a bar shape, like you get with a gold bar, a slanted edges. Uh, so it's actually got one, two, three, it's still got four, but it's shaped like a trapezoid. And it looks really good, so, you know, caught my eye when I was going through the, the sampler, because, you know, I don't mind a good, uh, cigar as long as it, uh, smokes good, but as you all know, cigars It's kind of a miss. gimmicky shape, because there are no other shapes like it on the market. Exactly, and I caught my eye, and I was like, oh yeah, that looks really cool. And now you got to find it. It's probably Cigar International, or Cigar... I think uh, it was CI. Yeah, I, I do too. It's like one of these... But you're going through Cigar.com, right? Cigar International. Oh, you are. So, but it looked really cool, and I thought it would be really, really nice. It's in the lower right-hand corner, I can tell you that. It was in one of these corners, exactly. So, but it was a really nice cigar, and it caught my eye. Just like uh, other ones. And by the way, for some of you out there, when I do start to do reviews again, the first review I'm going to review, the review Liga. is the Ligas. Exactly. And the Ligas looks really good, and I'm looking forward to uh, reviewing it with 
Hey, Aaron, because, well, you know, that will be my uh, welcome back to cigar review uh, samplers because... And by the way, this is another one of those half-inch long hangnails. Uh, it, it was not fixing itself, so I have oh, to Oh, it's on it. the back page, by the way. Here oh, it is. It is. You found it. Limited edition. Well, you're showing the camera. Show the it camera. is 6 by 62 Right there, the little gold bars. It says five Vegas I'd gold actually bars. I'd like to try those. Those are fifty new. bucks for twelve of them. That's kind of pricey, but yes, but their shape bad. is six by sixty-two, as you all know. I and bar six. shaped, not even a box press. It's they are pressed, but they're pressed to look like a bar, which I have a feeling that is going to be wonky as wonky can be. But the so yeah. mild bodied. Uh, roll yeah, in well, a unique Vitola. Yes, I know. But when you go to box presses, box presses, uh, box presses have a tendency to burn a little wonky because of the sharp edges. Uh, it's not a standard Vitola. It's not circular. Uh, th those tend to just burn weird. I got one question for you all out there. If anyone knows where to get a cigar cutter like this, and it's got Cohiba name on it because I've seen they made she it. She wants past. a Cohiba one. Please let me know where to find one. Please leave some. Please leave. Comments I think in the we box. found one on eBay for like forty bucks. It's like I'm not gonna pay forty bucks for a used cutter on eBay. Exactly. But you know they don't seem to make them anymore, and you're looking for one. So anybody got a bunch of spares laying around because they bought up a bunch on Seabids because they were cheap or something for a box of ten or. Whatever, um, Throw let us, us a message. know. Uh, we'd be glad to compensate or buy it from you. You know, no Oops. big deal. Um. <laughs> there you have it. So, Aaron, take it away. I so, got to get back to business. With all that said, uh, please add and subscribe. Leave questions, comments, feedback, suggestions. Uh, don't forget, you can email us, livingsimplyandfun at gmail.com. Uh, all one word. If you have... Uh, uh, if you've smoked this uh, and you agree or disagree, let me know um, what your thoughts were. Now, all we ask is that you keep it nice and uh, enjoy every puff.